first, President Duterte has retained the enhanced community quarantine classification of the National Capital Region, Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, and Rizal until April 4. This as he announced the new quarantine classifications in different parts of the country starting April 1 during his regular public address aired over state-run PTV4 on Monday night. The ECQ status, the most restrictive status, is however subject to further review. Take a look. I would be the last person, ako ang pinakahuling tao dito sa Pilipinas na magpapahirap sa Pilipino. If, I, uh, if, uh, I, if only I had the, the, the power, kung nandyan lang sa akin yung poder na like a magic wand uh, na maalis ka agad itong problema natin, uh, mawala. Gagawin ko uh, to continue the modified enhanced community quarantine city of Santiago, Isabela. Ang general community quarantine, the, the entire Cordillera administrative region. Region 2 is Cagayan, Isabela, Vizcaya. In region 4A, Batangas. Region 8, Tacloban. Region 10, Iligan City. Region 11, Davao City. Ang Barn, Kasari, Ang Lanao del Sur. Dito tayo sa modified general community quarantine. Well, it is for the rest of the country. So aside from those countries, that are the places that I have mentioned, uh, yun yung mga istrikto, itong the, the rest of the Philippines, uh, modified general community quarantine lang. Now, Malacanang earlier assured that the national government will be providing emergency subsidies to Filipinos in areas placed under ECQ. Budget Secretary Wendell Avisado said around 22.9 million beneficiaries could be given emergency assistance during the period. Around 23 billion in unutilized funds will be tapped for this assistance program. During the ECQ last year, beneficiaries received 5,000 and 8,000 pesos for the months of April and May. The second tranche of cash aid was also distributed for Filipinos who did not receive the first tranche.